guess so. Um, yeah, this is a let's play on the show. I it's a series where I play various kind of games for a specific amount of time. I wanted to take a look with you into uh, GeoGuessr. I've watched a couple of really cool reels on Instagram and YouTube and I wanted to see if I could do the same. Possibly not as good as those guys and girls. And um, you can basically, what this is, is you can play it in an app like on your cell phone, smartphone, whatever, or you can play it in the browser, what I'm currently doing. It's slightly different and um, you can, let me check. You can choose what kind of style you want to play, like single player. Mm. We could go click, quick play, starting with easy. I don't know if easy is too easy, but let's see. I'm not a crack in this, so. Um, yeah, you're getting dropped off. Uh, you have Google Maps here, you have a compass there, and then you have to figure out where you are. So um, you can actually work around landmarks uh, I see here that this is Spanish language. We have Brasseria Roma. Um, cars look really old. Roja means red in Spanish. Um, I happen to be half Spanish, so I can I can basically tell. Santa Fe, Victoria, Aeropuerto, Vendo. I don't think this is Spain, to be honest. Costilla, Matambre, Mexico, Mexico City, maybe. Could be Spain, Perez, Casilda. I would go with Mexico for now. Or Chile. Cati importados. I don't see any flags or anything related. I don't think it's Spain. People are wearing jackets. Should be a neutral area. I have 30 seconds left. Not sure, really not sure. I will go with Mexico City or Guatemala. Monterey maybe a bit a bit up somewhere here Monterey I try Monterey oops <laughs> Buenos Aires well I should have guessed Mexico is maybe warmer yeah anyway spread this looks like Netherlands Antwerpen could be Burs, could be Belgium, could be Antwerpen, Sweet Region. This is very German-ish. Mm, Antwerpen maybe, but where? Never been there. Oh, is it Amsterdam? Is it Belgium? Antwerpen. Belgium, yeah, I think. Is it Brussels? I was there last year actually, I cannot recall this. Antwerpen, Brussels, Brussels, Antwerp. Let me check if I can get a hint if it's, if it's Netherlands, I go with, let me check. Mm. Somewhere here. And it's, I say it's here. 119 meters. That's not too bad. Einbahn looks like Germany. Doesn't look like a paradise. It has the tram. No. Planstrasse. Let's check. 
Hmm. Looks unfamiliar to me. Austria. Austria for sure. Salzburg. I think I think it was also the bus, right? So we are here. Salzburg. And we are on the river. Crossing the river. And there was There's an old part of Salzburg. There is something, I don't know. Maybe this bridge? Or this bridge? Hmm. I think it's at the there or there. I have to go with something now. No, it was exactly at the other side of the city. One, but not Warsaw. Certainly, USA. Italy flag could speak for New York in terms of history. I love New York. <laughs> Does speak for New York as well. Um, this looks like I haven't been to New York actually. But if I had to guess, this is a famous square. All right, let's search. New York should be here. A street into, I've no idea where it is actually. Um, Jeez. Union Square, Square, Trafalgar Square, how, how is it called? Um, I can't find the street actually. Times Square. Is it here? But doesn't the speed. Doesn't it split? I'm running out of time. I go here. 300 meters is good enough for me. So another thing would be famous places. Let's try that for a couple of rounds and then we're done. Um, should be Mexico, Pyramid of the Sun. It's still on my bucket list, actually. But where is it in Mexico, actually? Where is it? Where is it? Chihuahua? Monterrey? It's not. Oh, I don't know where it is actually. Or is it near Yucatan? No, I don't think it's here. Or is it here? Is it Yucatan or is it in the north? I always tend to... It's either here or there. Um, let's figure out how could we... So northeast. Northeast with mountains. South with mountains, so I don't know if that's such a big area here. Should be Yucatan, or is it here? I go here. Just go. No, it's near Mexico City. Actually, I didn't even know that. That's bad. Sorry, guys. When you this is this is an easy one. 
Ähm, so, ähm, Kastel Neuschwanstein in Germany. I've taken a photo from there myself, I guess. Uh, Germany to Munich and then you go Thaus and then you go to Füssen and I think it's even here Ooh, or is it more here yeah. yeah I think it's here I don't find it Ooh. Ah, uh, here it is. And then I think it's been taken from. Hmm. From here, maybe. 19 meters. That's a strong one. Uh, this is. Uh, Prague. And I think where is it? Oof. On this side, maybe. No. Hmm. Let's see and check. Where is it? Hmm. Here somewhere. Here, I don't know. Where is it in Prague? I don't remember. Some cluster, some church. But it looks very crowded. No, I don't know. <laughs> anyway, uh, France, Spain, um, Greece. Italy. Let's stick with Italy. Palermo, Catania. But is it Palermo already? Let's check. Haven't been there. So we go to both. So it's the gate of Messina, maybe. Oops, it's in Palermo. Bad. Freedom and Justice 1957 and a big star. Even though this looks like India, is it like the frontier? Oh no, kind of Iraq. Oh, it's bad, guys. I don't recall. No, India, no, South Africa, but where? I cannot Ghana. Is it the Ghana flag? I cannot see the colors really good. <sighs> Sorry, guys. N Nigeria, maybe. Freedom Place, Nigeria. This looks like Africa, though. Kenya, Cameroon, Cameroon, maybe. Ghana, but it's a, is it the frontier? So it's a Ghana flag. So. Small country. It looked like a tamale. It looked like a frontier or something. Kumasi, maybe. Mm. So, yeah. 
Um, let's see last last couple of uh, actions we take here and um, I don't know this could be any any fortress um, in Scandinavia could be Denmark could be Sweden Drobak is not really It's like classical Copenhagen area, I think. Um, so this area has some... Maybe Göteborg, maybe here. I think it's somewhere here. Like, I know it's a really big area, but... Maybe here. Poof. I go here, Chromebook. Nah, it was Oslo. Yeah, it's like this typical fortresses were built around these areas. Coastline of Scandinavia. You see this a lot. Um, where is this? Is it Stockholm? Konung. Without moving. And chance of failing. Oh, there's a Sweden flag. I have been in Stockholm like when I was 14, like over <laughs> 25 years ago almost. Uh, Stockholm it is, yeah. Alright. Oh, there are a couple of those uh, across the world. Um, it's not high enough to be Spain. Mountain and tree-wise, I would say Canada. More precisely, British Columbia. I might fail, but I think... Coquitlam, I used to live in Vancouver and there was a prospect bridge or how, how it was called, I don't remember. And I don't remember where it is at all, actually. Um, it's a guess, I don't know if it's, no, it's not prospect bridge. It has a, it has a name, I would, I call here. Suspension bridge, Capilano, that was it, yeah. But not too bad still. Their name liveth forevermore. Austria, Australia, sorry. New Zealand. <laughs> of course. I always mix up the two flags. Um, Scotland. English. Graham. No idea what this is, but hell, I go. Ireland or Scotland. Northern England, maybe Edinburgh, Glasgow, Scotland. Dundee, Perth. Um, Aberdeen, I'll go here. No, Ireland it was. So yeah, that's been it. Uh, we've done famous places as you see. Uh, you can go Germany, you can go more official maps. Um, France, Russia, Austria, Spain. You could go for that, uh, famous places, as I said, European Union, and you can uh, really go around that, like for example now Spain. But uh, whether or not, I think famous places is a good way to start, because as you see here, you just get dropped off in the middle of nowhere, and there comes the expert level.
I think famous places you know here and there from the news or whatever and it might be a good entrance but once you advance on the game you will also be like depending on the difficulty dropped off and here for example even if you I'm Spanish so um, even if I'm being dropped off in a random Spanish village I'm half Spanish half German so I live in Germany um, you really have to rush your way through and uh, usually you have two minutes of time which is not a lot but um, once you proceed in this game, you will learn to read landmarks, uh, directions, where to start, um, whatever. So it's a really cool game. I'm just clicking through in speed right here, so um, don't worry. I hope you like this um, Let's Play. If you want to see more of uh, Geotiger, just let me know. I also try to improve. It's actually pretty funny because you, it's somewhat, you somewhat learn while playing, and it's uh, pretty nice. <laughs> It's a fun game. So um, yeah, this is it for now. I will leave you with this. If you liked it, uh, please consider um, yeah, a like, subscribe and a comment. And let me know what you want to see in the Let's Plays or if you want to see more Geotagger. See you next time. Bye bye.